All right, so here in the editor, let's go ahead and take a look at the animations we need to use to put this pull to refresh sequence together. So down here in the animations panel, we'll start from the bottom. And at first we've got this idle intro animation, and this is the start of our pull sequence. So all of these keys represent the, essentially the start of this animation. Um, and when we look at this intro animation, this is actually the end of that pull sequence. So we're going to be using a 1D blend state to essentially mix between these two animations. And we'll show more about that when we get to the state machine portion. So just keep in mind that this is our the start of our animation. And if we go ahead and turn these off, you can see this is how the bow and arrow and target will start. And this is the positions and keys um, when we end that pull sequence. Okay, so let's move on to the next animation, which is this strain loop. And this animation will trigger when the user is pulled down far enough on the UI. So this will give them some visual feedback that they can go ahead and release the UI. So once we release that, we'll jump into this shoot animation. And here we're just essentially um, setting up an animation that we can transition between the strain loop and then the arrow fly loop. So this animation will serve as kind of an indeterminate loading state um, while the data is being updated in the background and we're waiting for the UI to refresh. This will play until that happens. And once that's all completed, We'll then uh, move from this arrow fly loop into this arrow hit animation, which will kind of uh, finish off the whole pull to refresh sequence. Let's take a look at that now. You can see we've just got the arrow finally hitting the target and some birds fly out of the bushes here. So those are the core animations for the pull to refresh sequence. Uh, we do have one last animation that's just a idle um, ambient animation. So these this tree and these bushes will kind of play like this throughout the whole sequence. So that's all the animations for the pull to refresh sequence. In the next video, we'll take a look at how to pull all of these together into a state machine and set up the interactivity.